The B-2 Spirit Bomber is an aircraft that no missile can destroy, no matter how advanced. Though it may be as large as a football field, on enemy radar, it appears no bigger than a fly. No matter how complex the radar network, the B-2 Spirit Bomber can easily evade detection. Built at a cost of billions of dollars, it is the most expensive aircraft ever made. Compared to other jets, it's not only quieter, but can also easily fool heat-seeking and infrared-guided missiles. It's an aircraft capable of redrawing the world map, if it so chooses. But the real question I show, does a 52-meter-wide aircraft remain undetectable by radar? What kind of science is hidden in it that the U.S. has kept secret for the past 37 years? Welcome again to Time Drift. Viewers, there's a specific incident behind the making of the B-2 Bomberon incident that once brought great shame to America. On May 1, 1960, a Lockheed U-2 aircraft took off from the Peshawar Air Base in Pakistan. It was a CIA spy mission over the Soviet Union during the Cold War, a time when both America and the Soviet Union were locked in a technological arms race. The U.S. believed its U-2 spy plane, flying at 80,000 feet, was out of reach for any Soviet missile. The U.S. was confident that at such a high altitude, the USSR couldn't do anything. But as soon as it entered Soviet territory, radar detected it. The Soviets initially sent fighter jets and launched several missiles, but none could reach that altitude. Then the Soviet military locked onto the plane with their S-75 Davina missile and fired. The U.S. knew about the S-75, but believed it couldn't reach such heights. What happened next shocked America. The S-75 missile hit the U-2 flying at 80,000 feet with precision. The aircraft crashed near Yekaterinburg, and the pilot ejected. The U.S. initially claimed it was a NASA weather research plane. But when the Soviets presented the captured pilot and surveillance equipment, the U.S. faced massive global embarrassment. This incident taught both nations a lesson. The USSR focused on strengthening its air defenses, while the US began developing aircraft that would be literally invisible to radar. At the time, the US had B-52 bombers, but the incident proved that such bombers would be shot down before entering Soviet airspace, meaning the US couldn't deploy nuclear weapons against Russia. By 1976, the USSR had developed surface-to-air missiles with a 100 kilometers range, like the S-300. Their air defenses were so strong that an American Air Force general once said that sending a B-52 into Soviet airspace would be like throwing a rock into a hornet's nest. That's when, in 1978, the U.S. launched the Advanced Technology Bomber, ATB program. The goal was to create a bomber that could enter Soviet territory, drop bombs in front of their radars, and escape unnoticed. The B-2 bomber met all these requirements. Its first flight was in 1989, but the world first saw it in 1997. Its most remarkable feature is its radar evasion. Every inch of its design is crafted to ensure radar signals don't reflect back. That's why the B-2 consists only of wings no fuselage, no tail. Regular aircraft have vertical tail fins, which are easily detected by radar. Air defense radars send signals in all directions to ensure no part of the sky is left unchecked. These signals bounce off aircraft, especially the tail fin, which acts like a mirror. But the B-2 Spirit Bomber is designed so that radar signals hitting it are deflected away in other directions, never returning to the radar. That's why it has no tail. Its zigzag design deflects radar waves in completely different directions. But design alone isn't the secret it also has a special coating that absorbs nearly all radar signals. The U.S. has developed this top secret material, and its details are still unknown to the world. Because of this coating, the B-2 
becomes completely invisible to radar. Its radar cross-section is just 0.000 one square meters like spotting a fly in the sky. For comparison, AB-52 appears on radar as big as a two-bedroom apartment, An F-15 as a small room, the JF-17 as a single bed, and the Rafale as a large pillow. Despite being ten times bigger than all these jets, the B-2 shows up like a fly. In aviation security, this technology is called stealth, and it was pioneered by the B-2. It not only avoids radar, but also has a low heat signature that evades infrared and heat-seeking missiles. Air defense systems detect heat from jet engines and lock missiles onto that signature. But the B-2's engines are hidden within its body. The hot air from combustion is mixed with cool air before release, so it leaves no heat trail. This makes it the aircraft with the world's lowest heat signature. For instance, an F-16 can be detected from 100 kilometers via infrared surveillance. But the B-2 won't be visible until it's just 10 kilometers away. And even then, it usually flies much higher. The B-2 can fly at altitudes of 15,000 meters, or as low as 500 feet. At high altitudes, it avoids infrared detection and experiences reduced drag due to the thinner atmosphere, increasing fuel efficiency. This allows it to travel long distances. On a full tank, it can fly over 11,000 kilometers. You might think its stealth features are its biggest strength, but its real power lies in ECM electronic countermeasures. The B-2 has advanced ECM systems that first detect enemy radar frequencies, then send false signals on the same frequency. This makes the radar show the B-2 at incorrect or multiple locations, when in reality, it's only in one. It records the radar signal, modifies it, and sends it back. The radar thinks the reflection is genuine, but it's fake. Even better, the ECM only sends false signals to the radar that detected the B-2, making it seem like a minor glitch. If the false signals were sent to all radars, the enemy might realize something's wrong. The B-2's body is made from carbon graphite composites. It was assembled like a Swiss watch built in parts and joined with extreme precision. Now for its payload. Shockingly, it can carry 18,000 kilograms of explosives that's like the weight of 15 cars. It can hold 80 JDAMs, GPS guided bombs, 16 B-83 nuclear bombs, and 16 AGM-158 Jassim Street Elth Cruise Missile Sol stored internally to preserve stealth. In terms of range, the B-2 can fly from the U.S. to Russia and back without landing. With mid-air refueling, it can reach any part of the world. During the Afghanistan War, the B-2 flew from Missouri Air Force Base to Afghanistan, a 9,500 kilometers journey, bombed targets, and returned all with just one mid-air refueling. The mission lasted 45 hours, and the B-2 wasn't detected by any radar. It was also used in Operation Allied Force, 1,000. 999, Operation Iraqi Freedom, 2003, and Operation Odyssey Dawn in Libya, 2011. The B-2 can fly in any weather, under any condition. Even if GPS fails, it can navigate using backup systems and stellar navigation. Its advanced sonar cameras make it the world's best obstacle-avoiding aircraft. It automatically identifies terrain and adjusts its flight path. Since it lacks a tail, rudder, or elevators, it isn't naturally stable and can't be flown manually without computer aid. It features the world's most complex computer system, which constantly adjusts its roll and pitch. The pilot only gives basic commands like turning, and the system handles the execution. Naturally, such advanced tech comes at a cost. Only 21 B-2 bombers were ever built, each costing billions of dollars more than the GDP of some countries. All are owned exclusively by the U.S.
which has no plans to sell this technology. The B2 consumes so much fuel that in just one hour, it burns through fuel worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. In contrast, a commercial jet uses just a few hundred dollars worth. Its maintenance is equally extreme. After every flight, the entire aircraft is soft washed and its stealth coating is reapplied. Every inch is inspected even a mosquito-sized dent could compromise its stealth. We hope you enjoyed and will share this video from Time Drift. Thanks so much for your loving comments. See you in the next amazing video.